Hi everyone, welcome to Organic Creations. I hope you all are doing fine today. Uh, so today we are going to be making a castile soap. We are going to be making a cold process castile soap which is going to be made with 100% coconut oil. Uh, I'm sorry, 100% olive oil. You can go ahead and use any type of olive oil to make this cold process soap. You can use um, olive oil pomace, you can use extra virgin, extra light olive oil, whichever olive oil you want to use you can go ahead and use that to make the soap. So here I have taken my uh, olive oil pomace. This uh, is very very highly conditioning for the skin. Uh, this uh, is a castile soap which can be used for kids as well, for babies. Very nourishing, very moisturizing for their skin. Uh, so uh, here I have my olive oil which is measured out and here I have my lye water solution. Now this is what is going to help us transform this oil into soap. So we are not using any other oils in this. For those of you who would like to learn how to make more advanced cold process soaps using different types of oils, juices, purees, milk, you all can contact me on the WhatsApp number that's given in the description box to join the workshops that I have on all skincare products. So we'll quickly start with the making. Now I'm going to go ahead and add this lye water solution in my olive oil here which I have taken and whenever you're using if you're making soaps for the first time please check my video on uh, all the guidelines you need to follow while handling lye that will be there on my channel itself uh, if you're a beginner and we'll go ahead and blend this okay so I've gone ahead and given this a blend now I have used a um, you know coffee frother for this because the batch is very small but please do not use this so uh, if you're making bigger batches you need a high shear blender only so please use a high shear blender when you're blending this here i have gone ahead and added a, a few drops of uh, mango essential oil to this uh, since this is for a baby this is going to be uh, given to a baby so uh, any <coughs> any fruity uh, essential oil always gives out a very nice nice fragrance for a uh, kids soap. So I have added mango uh, essential oil to this and essential oil is a very pure form of fragrance. Uh, it's not synthetically made like fragrance oil so it's preferred when you're making it for small children. Uh, even if you want to keep it unscented if you don't know what the child is allergic to you can keep it unscented if you are uh, making it for a baby. So here we have gone ahead and blended this well and this is already thickened. Uh, so now we will quickly go ahead and put this in the mold. So I'll just go ahead and pour this into uh, this uh, container so that it's easy to put it in the mold. And you need to try to do this before your batter thickens otherwise it will be very difficult for you to pour it in your mold. Okay, so I've gone ahead and poured this in the mold here and we have to wait for the next 8 to 10 hours for this to completely cool down and uh, after 8 to 10 hours we will go ahead and mold uh, unmold this once it completely hardens. So please make sure since this is a 100% olive oil soap do not unmold it if you feel that it has not hardened because sometimes it does take time for these soaps to uh, harden completely. So if you feel it's taking a longer time please keep it in the mold and only then unmold it once it's completely set. Okay so now it's been 24 hours that I had kept this uh, castile soap in my mold and I have gone ahead and unmolded this and this is how it looks. Uh, it is well set and this is the 100% uh, olive oil castile soap which we have made today uh, and friends uh, you all can do give this a try make it and let us know how you've liked it and if you like what I share with you all then please do like subscribe and share my channel with your friends as well thank you so much everyone